Hey everybody, it's Crypto Anarchist here, and uh, you guys know that when I like to, uh, you know, short a, a product or a, uh, you know, a crypto, I don't actually short cryptos, I just sell them, but when I sell a crypto, it's usually because I just do some math, and the basic math doesn't really work. Um, so if you look at uh, the Lightning Network, uh, a lot of the basic math just doesn't add up, and a lot of the supporters just are afraid, I think, to do the math. Um, because the math proves that their system really doesn't work whatsoever. If you look at this, uh, the Lightning Network, you know, the creators think the fees are going to be zero or near zero, uh, and they can't. They can't honestly do this. If you look at, uh, you know, current prices for uh, getting transactions on the network, um, if you actually do the math here, you're going to need to do almost 300,000 transactions to get the. Uh, transaction fee for passing through lightning nodes down to one satoshi per node you transmit through um, you know so that that's going to be very hard to get 300,000 transactions through even if you say you know because one satoshi per node you transmit through is very low even if you say you know it's going to be 10 uh, satoshis per node that's still 30,000 transactions if you say it's 100 satoshis per node that's 3,000 transactions you know if you just do the math here you're gonna either you know be paying fees higher than Bitcoin cash while using the lightning network because with Bitcoin cash it's one satoshi per byte so the average transaction is uh, if we look at this here um, the average transaction is basically 374 bytes, and if you look at actually the satoshis per byte on the day that I looked at this, uh, it, if you do the math for that transaction, you'd actually have to do you know 184 or like 180,000 transactions in order to pay off the Lightning node. But anyway, so I'm just saying the prices are a little bit different in this picture as opposed to the math done in the picture before. Um, oh yeah, it shows the satoshis right down there, 180 thousand satoshis so if you were to pay off this many satoshis uh, you know with a lightning node as stated from before if you're paying a thousand uh, satoshis per transaction that's still 180 transactions in order to pay for the node and the ch opening of the channel uh, but a thousand satoshis is more than you're going to be paying when you use Bitcoin cash anyway so you know if it's not a thousand satoshis or if it's like a hundred satoshis you, you can just do the math and the amount of transactions you're gonna have to root through is incredibly high in order to pay off these uh, lightning nodes so if you look at it the like there's no way that the like it, the, the network can't go from A to Z for lightning it's gonna slowly be adopted by people and as it's slowly adopted the fees are still gonna be massively high it just it, it doesn't really work it doesn't work the math does not work here if you actually do some just basic math here um, and if we even go further on like if you're looking here at uh, uh, what it's what that makes the fees uh, for for Bitcoin Segwit it's actually uh, one uh, it's basically one ten thousandth or it's one one thousandth sorry the fee is like twenty three dollars so let's say you know the price of Bitcoin is actually higher or it's lower than twenty three thousand dollars but it's basically one one thousandth of a uh, a Bitcoin so one one thousandth of a Bitcoin if you, if you look at this, that's actually uh, you know over 70 percent, or it's over 53 uh, percent, sorry, of uh, all coins or all wallets in existence. So already with Bitcoin Segwit, there's 2,700 Bitcoin that are, like do not function because if you were to try and move those coins, the fee is higher than the value of the coin, so there's no point to it. Uh, and so this is kind of a terrifying thing if you you know sort of think about it um, and you know if the fees get any higher than they are currently and uh, I've said this before you know the fees will get higher if, as soon as you bring out uh, the lightning network because that means that the lightning nodes can pay higher fees than everyone else and so they can you know make sure that they're always their, their their transactions are always getting confirmed because they actually have a source of income so they'll force everyone else off the uh, off paying fees on the on transactions but anyway so it will raise fees but if it raises fees by a factor of 10 you know and this would just be fees to you know two hundred dollars uh, and the uh, lightning developers have said that it will need fees of like a thousand dollars later on but if fees are a hundred dollars then you uh, you bump up the number of Bitcoin that are uh, frozen because they won't be able to be spent because the fees will be higher than the value in these wallets you bump up that total number of Bitcoin 
uh, 24 to 24,000 or an additional 24,000. So then if you add those two numbers together, that'll be 27,000 Bitcoin locked up that can't be spent because the fees are higher than the Bitcoin in those wallets. And so again, that's just a $200 fee. They said that fees could go to, you know, around $1,000. This is the Bitcoin developers. Uh, and that's just, if you do the math, that's what the fees will need to be to, to support the network as the block reward dro drops to zero and the lightning network is adopted. But if fees go to $1,000, dollars uh, then you can see there that will be uh, you know cumulatively that'll be all that'll be over 80 percent of all wallet addresses it'll be almost 90 percent of all wallet addresses won't be functional and you'll have a complete total of basically uh, you know 180,000 almost Bitcoin locked up Okay, so you could have a huge, massive amount of Bitcoin quickly locked up by Bitcoin SegWit. And if those, like, you know, everyone always says when you're buying Bitcoin, you can buy a, a fraction of Bitcoin. Well, no, you can't. Like, if you look at this right here, you can't right now buy less than a thousandth of a Bitcoin because it's useless. Like, it has no function. Uh, you, you can't do it. So when people say you can, you know, buy a fraction of a Bitcoin, no, you can't. You cannot, and as as the fees rise, uh, this becomes less and less true when people say you can buy a fraction of a Bitcoin. As of right now, the lowest fraction of a Bitcoin you can get that has somewhat of a function is less than of a, a thousandth of a Bitcoin. But even if you send somebody, you know, like if the fee is $20 and send somebody $21, that person has $1 in Bitcoin, but if they try and send that, then the fee is $20, so they have nothing. Uh, so, you know... It's just becoming really stupid if you do the math and look at what Bitcoin SegWit's fees are doing to the network. And if the fees get near $1,000, like I said, you're going to have near 100,000 Bitcoin locked up. You know, If you have $2,000 fees, you have 180,000 Bitcoin locked up. But you know, that's a lot of Bitcoin being locked up just by fees. Uh, these fees are holding the network hostage. Uh, and then the final thing that I want to show you guys that I think is actually kind of funny, uh, Craig Wright is actually pushing, and a lot of the people in the Bitcoin Cash community, uh, they're, push they're pushing for uh, a change in uh, basically the standard unit. Right now people talk about Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash in terms of one Bitcoin or one Bitcoin Cash. So that makes the prices of things look really, really, really weird. Uh, and so they're changing, they want to change the price so that um, everything is priced in terms of 100 Satoshis. So they will move the decimal place all the way over so that uh, um, they move the decimal place all the way over so that uh, the last two decimal places are the last two spot like the last the first decimal spot is the 10 is 10 satoshis and then the second decimal decimal point is one satoshi um, and like a full unit uh, of this uh, this monetary unit which they call bits a full unit of this like one bit is 100 satoshis uh, and so the reason why they would want to do this is because right now if you look at this last uh, sentence right here uh, if you uh, it, the price of two large pizzas in Bitcoin Cash right now is, you know, it's that decimal point, point or it's that decimal number. And if you look at that, that's really hard to uh, just glance up and know what the number is. Uh, you have to count the number of zeros after the decimal point if you're comparing prices of things, and that's just very tedious. Uh, and so they want to move this because if you move the price instead of in terms of one full Bitcoin Cash or one full, you know, cash, um, if you move it to bits, then uh, the price of two large pizzas, instead of being, you know, 6,554 thousandths of a Bitcoin cash, it's 6,554 bits. And it's much it's much easier to read if you, with your eyes, I guess. Like, when I read that out loud, it, you, you know, when you say it uh, verbally, it's it makes more sense. Like, it's easy to actually you know, understand the prices because I actually had to count out the numbers of zeros beforehand to make sure I got that right. Uh, but when you look at it with your eyes, you know, that just, it's really hard to see. And the thing that's really funny about this is that Bitcoin SegWit cannot price things in terms of bits because the fees are so high. So the fees are higher than a bit. So a bit is not a functional unit in Bitcoin SegWit anymore. 
Uh, so if Bitcoin Cash does this change, you will get two massive pumps from it. The first pump will be from people who aren't all that smart, who just see a lower price, because one bit right now, a Bitcoin Cash bit, is like a quarter of one cent. So if the price on exchanges goes from, you know, thousands of dollars to, you know, a quarter of a cent for just a bit, then uh, you'll get a lot of people who will buy in because they will just look at that and see a smaller price. Uh, that's not smart money, but that it, that it will help to, you know, get the price increase. Uh, but the second thing that it will do and the, where we'll get the smart money to move over to Bitcoin Cash is because the smart money will realize that, oh, Bitcoin SegWit can't actually, you know, change the monetary unit to bits because people will ask Bitcoin SegWit to do the same thing if Bitcoin Cash does this and it receives a price pump. But Bitcoin SegWit can't do it because bits are a non-functional unit within Bitcoin SegWit so you know I just think it's kind of hilarious and again you know all you have to do to understand this is do some of the math and the math just that it does not work for Bitcoin SegWit in the Lightning Network but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video there will be more coming out soon